So my first video about how to pick nearly every lock. Truth is, there's so many locks out there. As soon as you start picking locks as a hobby, um, you start just seeing all of these weaknesses within different locks. Some of them are built quite well and it's a great puzzle to try to figure out. I went to a local drugstore and um, I had got two of these locks because I want to show you how easy it is to get into these, okay? People will see that it says steel and they're gonna be like, wow, that's good. No, it isn't. This is incredibly easy, okay? Now this, this one does have the combination on the back because I did just buy it. But what I wanna do is I wanna show you how easy it is to bypass these, to figure out the code, okay? And really all it takes is just a little bit of um, sensitive touch, that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, 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 turn. Put it to zero, because that's a good starting point. And we want to put a decent amount of pressure up on this shackle, so I'm pulling up on it, okay? Now, when I start turning this to the right, there is going to be um, a number where it feels like something happened. I don't really know how to explain it. You're, you're just going to feel it. It's going to feel like something had happened, okay? Um, right there. I Right there. I already felt it, okay? And if I keep pulling up, Can you kind of hear that click when I move back and forth over that? Well, that only happens with one number. There it is again. I can feel the shackle ever so slightly go this way. I mean like a hair. And then I keep pulling up and I'll feel it kind of go over like a little bit of a hump. Okay. And, and it's very, it's very, you, you, when you move it back and forth like this and you've got the pressure, you'll be able to feel it, okay? So this right here is like 32, 33, okay? So we're going to call it 32. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start turning it toward me. So I'm going to start turning it toward me, keeping up. We're going to have to go one full turn, okay? We're at the, I felt something at zero right now, okay? It, I don't even know if you heard it click, but it doesn't even really want me to go any, any further past that. That's the second number. And now we're gonna go this direction, just keeping tension on it, and when we get to it, it should pop right open. There it is. That one is eight or seven. 3227, made in China, right? My COVID-19 lock. Piece of junk. This guy right here. Oh, I love these locks. These are my favorite locks of all time. We don't need the keys. All right. Why do I love these locks? Because if we look at it, it says made in China. Oh, made in China is bad, but what's worse is the ones that say made in Taiwan. For these locks, a lot of times they're used um, on a bike chain. So there'll be a chain attached to this, enough where you can grab the chain, okay? where you can swing it. Um, but if you hit on the side that says made in China or made in Taiwan against a hard object, you swing and you hit it, this will open. Okay, let's go check it out. Concrete usually isn't hard enough. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna use the back end of this ax, the side that says made in China on it. I'm just gonna keep it where I can kind of spin it like this on my finger. And if I hit this right here, Okay, might take a couple of times, but if I hit it right here, this thing will open up. I'm gonna put my foot on it so it doesn't move too much. There it is. One of the things that was preventing it is this plastic. Okay, that was kind of preventing that. But there we go. Now if I hit it, there it is, piece of junk. So I've got a couple that say Taiwan on them. And um, I actually, I got these off eBay. Some guy was selling them without a key for like a dollar. I'm like, I'll take them because I can use them for a video. Um, side that says Taiwan, these are small. I can't get my finger in there um, to get enough leverage to hit that. So I'm just gonna use a wire. This is for pickups, guitar pickups. But as long as I have this 
um, where I can hit it and get a little bit of leverage that should pop open. Yep, it did, didn't it? We'll try this one too. Oh, ba, 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 ba. Junk. Those are some cheap locks. Those are really old school cheap locks. I love those locks. They're, they're so easy. But I'm going to teach you also how to get into this. To get into this. I'm going to teach you how to get into this. I should move that so you can see it. I'm going to teach you how to get into that. Teach you how to get into that. And I bought this and I forgot that I already had one. But I can show you that again. Which is it's going to be just like that. And you're going to notice I had purchased these locks. Right? Because you don't want to go around taking people's locks. Or even worse taking what is hooked up to those locks. Some people had made some comments in my first video. They're like, oh, Dr. Chill, you're teaching people how to steal. I'm not teaching anybody how to steal. Your morality and your actions are on you. They're, that's not on me. If I teach you how to sharpen a knife, am I teaching you how to stab someone to death? No. If I teach you how to drive a car, am I showing you how to drive drunk and running over some kids? No. If I teach you how to reload ammunition, am I teaching you how to go shoot up a school? No. So it's ignorant to sit there and say, well, you're teaching people how to pick locks. Yeah, because what I'm doing is I'm showing you the vulnerabilities of these locks because it's an illusion of security. You know, these locks, we're buying them because we think it's going to make our belongings secure. Some of them, no, it's not going to happen. And quite honestly, most locks are deterrents. They don't really keep people out. It just deters them, makes them where they don't want to do it or it slows them down. But if you're going to come after me because I'm teaching you how to pick locks, then you need to go after everybody that makes bolt cutters. You have to go after everybody that makes angle grinders. You have to go after everybody that makes crowbars and battling rams. You also have to go after everybody that makes vinyl and rubber gloves. You also have to go after people that end up making duct tape and garbage bags and shovels and hand soap and all that other stuff because all of these are used to commit crimes. So why are, it's ignorant to come after me is absolutely ignorant. So before you start posting some idiotic comment about how I'm aiding thieves, take your head out of your ass.